Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new 2018 MacBook Pro, which was just released today, July 13th, 2018, following a surprise announcement in a press release yesterday morning. Now be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button and ding the notification bell below to be informed anytime we release unboxing videos. And down below in the description, as well as in your cards right now, there's a link to a post on besttechinfo.com that that contains everything you need to know about this laptop, including links to already get it at a discounted price if you are purchasing it for education purposes. With that said, let's get straight into this. This is the base 15 inch MacBook Pro model, which starts at $23.99 and it actually is configurable all the way up to $66.99. So definitely you're going to want to take advantage of that discount listed in the description on that first link there. So taking a look at some of the specifications here, this is configurable up to a 2.9 gigahertz, six core, eighth generation Intel Core i9 CPU with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM finally, and four terabytes of storage, which is absolutely insane. This upgrade alone costs more than the entire cost of the base laptop with all of the aforementioned upgrades applied. It's seriously $3,200 just to go from 512 gigs to a four terabyte SSD. Now it's no secret that the first incarnation of this MacBook Pro embodiment released in 2016 was widely criticized. And while questionable design changes, including the controversial touch bar and restrictive reliance of USB-C for all charging and data transfer purposes are here to stay, Apple has been listening to customers. In addition to finally allowing 32 gigabytes of RAM to be added to the MacBook Pro, Apple brings the i9 CPU that I just talked about to the high-end configurations of the new 2018 MacBook Pros. They even swapped out the aforementioned faulty keyboard with, quote, an improved third-generation keyboard for quieter typing. Other additions include the new T2 chip first found in the iMac Mac Pro for always on Hey Siri and new sensors to bring true tone display technology to the MacBook. Apple also states that the upgrade to Intel's 8th generation 6 core CPUs boosts the 15 inch MacBook Pro's performance by 70%, while the quad core 13 inch MacBook Pro models gain up to 2x performance boosts. Now, taking a look at the box itself, we just have a picture of the MacBook Pro on the front. Remember, nothing has changed from a design standpoint. This still maintains that 2016 refresh design makeover that we talked about earlier. Now, both sides of the box feature an Apple logo, whereas it says MacBook Pro on the bottom as well as the top. Flipping it over on the back here, we just have some specs. So let's go over those now for this 15 inch MacBook Pro. Remember this does have a 15.4 inch display when measuring diagonally. That's Retina LED backlit with true tone technology and a resolution of 2880 by 1800. This one does have the 2.2 gigahertz six core Intel Core i7 CPU with nine megabytes of shared L3 cache and turbo boost up to 4.1 gigahertz. This one also has 16 gigabytes of RAM, not 32 gigs, and it's 2400 megahertz DDR4 SD RAM, and it has a 256 gigabyte PCIe based SSD, a Radeon Pro 550X with four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, as well as the onboard Intel UHD graphics 630. Now this also has four Thunderbolt three ports that of course is that USB-C style interface with support for high speed IO and video out. It has a headphone jack, stereo speakers, this has the touch bar with touch ID. You cannot get a new 15 inch version without the touch bar. It has a backlit keyboard with an ambient light sensor. And this is actually the third iteration of the butterfly keyboard mechanism that's supposed to provide for quieter typing. But I've got to tell you guys, when I tested it out, I didn't notice too much of a difference between this one and even the keyboard found on the 2016 version. It also has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, a FaceTime HD camera, and of course it comes pre-installed installed with Mac OS. All right, so getting started, we're just going to cut through the plastic wrap that is protecting the box using my knife here. And we're just going to start the process by pulling the plastic off. All 
All right, and lifting the lid reveals the MacBook Pro sitting directly on top inside of a plastic protector that actually has this really nice included built-in tab to allow you to easily pull the laptop out of the box. All right, and lifting the MacBook Pro up and out, we're going to set it off to the side for a second and talk about what comes in the box itself. All right, so at the bottom, we just have Apple's typical USB-C cable. This is dual male USB-C. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to be able to plug one end into the actual wall adapter and the other end into the MacBook itself into one of those four USB-C ports we talked about because of course those are used for both data transfer and power. And what's really cool is that this cable again can also be used for more than just charging your laptop. Like I said, it can be used for data transfer purposes, though it is a slower speed than what you'd expect if you were to pick up a dedicated new USB-C cable. Now, right up here at the top, we have a little packet that says designed by Apple in California, and we're going to open it up to reveal right on the front a little pamphlet that says MacBook Pro. We're going to open it up and it basically just goes over some of the key aspects of the laptop itself, both the hardware as well as the software interface. So this is just a nice way to quickly get new MacBook users acclimated with their brand new MacBook. And then we have this little info sheet right here that just says MacBook Pro. And of course we have the customary two white Apple logo stickers. Now we can set this pamphlet off to the side and beneath that we just have the USB-C charging brick. Now this, depending on which country you actually live in, let me take it out of the plastic wrap first, we'll have a different wall adapter installed here. And if you do happen to travel, what's really nice is you can just pull this out and you can swap it out like so. Also, you can actually buy an extender for this too because this is pretty short just with this cable right here because I believe this is only a three foot cable. All right, so that's everything that comes in the box. We're going to go ahead and set the box off to the side now and we're going to return to the start of this video, the brand new MacBook Pro. Let's go ahead and take it out of this plastic now. Such a nice sound when you take that off of a MacBook for the first time. Now this is, again, a very awesome design in my opinion. This is the space gray color, and we're going to go over some of the more physical aspects in just a little bit, but first, I'm actually going to lift the lid, which should immediately power the laptop on, because that is a cool way to start it ever since the 2016 MacBook was announced. Of course, you can start it just by lifting the lid. You can also use the power button as well, which on the 15-inch version is built into the Touch ID fingerprint sensor, which is right here to the right of the touch bar, which is a dynamic OLED display that you can actually customize. So again, I'm going to set this thing up and I'm going to be right back after we take this piece off the display. All right, so again, I'm going to set this computer up and I'll be right back once that setup's finished. All right, so inside of the setup process for this MacBook, I happen to notice a new screen, and that is right here after enabling Siri. When we go ahead and click continue, it says to set up, hey, Siri. Now I said that with a pause just to give you guys a chance to either throw on some headphones or skip past this part so your device doesn't accidentally pick it up. In fact, I'm going to have to unplug my HomePod here really quick so it doesn't go crazy. Give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, so let's set this up. So let's go ahead and click continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? All right, so those were just some quick examples of what you can use Siri to do now on the new MacBook, because of course Siri has been a part of Mac OS for a while now, but with the inclusion of that brand new T2 chip, it has that always on Hey Siri functionality. So let's go ahead and click next. And of course now it's asking us to set up Touch ID. So I'm going to click continue. We're just going to do that by placing our finger on the actual power button right here repeatedly, just like what we would do on an iPhone 8 or older. 
All right, and now of course it's going to ask us to just capture the edge of our fingerprint, and then we should be able to use that to unlock the MacBook, except of course when you reboot, you're going to have to input your passcode. And now we have, once again, another new screen here on this brand new 2018 MacBook Pro. This is just in regards to the True Tone display technology. So you can see when we click on this, it shows us what it's going to be like when it actually has True Tone disabled versus when it's enabled right now. So it says your Mac automatically adapts to the ambient light conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environments. You can change this setting later in displays and system preferences. So this feature was first revealed and actually rolled out to a device by Apple with the iPad. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It's great for reducing blue light exposure during the day because of course at night we have night shift, but during the day you're also going to want to actually be easier on your eyes. And also this does help with the circadian rhythm right before bed and right before the sun actually sets. So it's a fantastic feature. I'm so pumped they added it to the MacBooks. So we can just go ahead and continue on here through the setup process and you can see, boom, we're inside of Mac OS already. First thing, what I'm going to do is click the Apple logo, followed by about this Mac in the top left hand corner. And we're going to see immediately that this is the brand new 2018 MacBook Pro. Now we don't have anything indicating early or mid MacBook Pro suggesting maybe that this is going to be the only MacBook Pro update in 2018. Previously, Apple has done in the past two incremental updates to Macs per year. But of course we haven't seen one this year and it's unlikely that we're going to see another one again. So this is the 2018 MacBook Pro period. All right, so now moving on as we start to finish up this unboxing and review, I'm going to install a couple of apps from the Mac App Store that are just going to be used as benchmark tests. We're going to test both the read and write speed of this computer as well as run a general benchmark to kind of see an overall cumulative score that's supposed to be representative of this computer's power as a whole. So let's get into that. I'm going to speed through the installation process and I'll be right back. Okay, so now with the tools we need installed, we're just going to open up Launchpad and we're going to launch Blackmagic Disk Speed Test here. So what this is going to do is it's just going to write a single large file to the computer and it's going to read and write it and we're going to be able to get an idea for what we're actually going to be able to do with this computer's read and write speeds. So absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. It looks like we're getting about 1200 megabytes per second on the right and 2500 megabytes per second on the read. Absolutely fantastic speeds here. You can see that it reports we're able to do basically everything except write in 4K at 10 bit using this codec right here. So some fantastic speeds on this MacBook Pro. Apple promised more professional and it looks like they're definitely delivering even though it does have a hefty price tag if you really want to get it to live up to that pro moniker. So now let's go ahead and switch over to Nova Bench here. And as I mentioned, Nova Bench is just going to test the computer from a purely spec point to give us kind of an overall cumulative reading that's supposed to be reminiscent of this computer's power. So I'm going to hit start test and it's just going to run through all the tests that it needs to do to again benchmark this machine. So I'm going to speed this process up. It is not in real time and we're going to resume when it finishes and during this metal test here, actually pushing the graphics cards to its limits, looks like we're getting consistently locked at about 40 to 50 FPS, which is actually pretty great, especially since this is the lower end upgraded GPU on the 15 inch models. Of course, we do have that dedicated GPU that we discussed previously. So you can see here that we do get a Nova Bench score of 2066, which is actually phenomenal for a base 15 inch MacBook Pro. I would be completely blown away to see what the spec'd up version of this would receive with that i9 GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and the improved graphics card. All right guys, so that just about wraps up this video review of the brand new 2018 MacBook Pro. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overall highlight of the machine itself. Now we did discuss that touch bar previously. This has been a part of the 15 inch MacBook since 2016, but for those of you who maybe haven't seen it before, let me just show you. 
It is dynamic, as I previously mentioned, and that is customizable inside of System Preferences. It's an OLED display, so it has absolutely phenomenal viewing angles, as well as actually indirect light. It's just perfectly crisp, so you'll pretty much always be able to see it. It's fantastic. Again, I've had this laptop or this incarnation of the laptop since 2016, and it works flawless for me. I actually kind of like the touch bar. It's cool to be able to customize it, and it is dynamic. Of course, that also means that you're going to receive updates in the future because of course when something is mostly based on software like this is it can change over time and of course we do have the stereo speakers which should be louder here and we have this larger trackpad that of course was first introduced again in 2016. I know I sound like a broken record here, but again, this design is here to stay for at least the 2018 MacBook. Maybe we'll get a new refresh next year. We just don't know. But of course, this is a fantastically huge trackpad. And then if we take a look at the sides, again, we really don't have anything. On the right, we just have those two USB-C ports as well as that headphone jack. And closing it up, you'll be able to notice how completely thin and streamlined it is. Looking over at the left, we just have those other two USB-C ports, and that is it. Remember, you're going to be using those for data and charging purposes. So let's go ahead and open this up, and we're just going to do one last thing that I just thought of. We're going to say the Hey Siri command, and I'm going to show you guys that it activates here using my voice when we set it up previously during the initial setup. Hey Siri, what's the weather like in Los Angeles, California? All right, so we're going to do one more here. Hey Siri, how old is Tim Cook? All right, so there you go, guys. This has been an unboxing and review of the brand new 2018 MacBook Pro. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, check out Best Tech Info for all the latest deals on the MacBook Pro, as well as to be able to snag that education discount. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.